Shalom. Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due to Yahweh Bashem, El Shai Bashem, El Kakadash. Miss all praises to the world cause God, whose true name in Hebrew is Yahweh Bashem, meaning in the name. And Yahweh Shai being the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone and peace and mercy to the hopeful like preaching his word in truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Tazabah, the great millstone, in Arizona, can Lord will with another video to edify. And, um, I wanted to make a response to this weak, very weak, very feminine, so-called man. And, uh, you know, he rolled by the, the Detroit camp and running his mouth talking stuff. And the thing about it is, you're going to roll by a group of men calling them broke. And the money that you boasted in is getting ready to collapse. And you talk from this, this oh, I'm, I'm so much better. I have all these things. God has blessed me. So I'm better than you mindset. Well, that is not according to the scriptures at all. And uh, I'm going to actually start off with this one scripture, man. I want to get this in a blue letter. Um, I think it's Psalms 106. Yeah, that's what it is. Psalms 106. Psalms. One oh six and fifteen. Cause when you listen to dudes that speak in the fashion that this guy speaks, right? There it is. Oh, it's they talk from this old soul superior state because they have some riches and there ain't nothing wrong with getting riches. Man, you got brothers out here that have very successful careers, practices, um, you know, endeavors that they're getting into that 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 produce a paycheck. But you can tell that, like the scriptures say, when riches increase, set not thy heart upon them. You can tell that our our first and foremost thing is still going to be how about Shimei All right, it doesn't change from that. But men that act and function and talk this way. They'll say all these things, but in the background, these niggas is through. Family's messed up. I mean, T.I. being one of them. Look at this situation. Son hate him. Talk BS. Get embarrassed in public. Magic Johnson. His son is a 6'9 drag queen. In the family photos. Looking like he could palm a basketball. And dunk just by standing on his tiptoes. Right? And spiritually inside, they're out there every day. They, they, they're they empty. They got nothing going on. No motivation past the money. No, no spirit, no soul past money. And these be the most depressed, attention-sinking, they beat down on other people with their words for validation uh, of their own importance. All right? This is Psalms 106 and, 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 and 14. It says, but lusted, but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness and tempted a most high in the desert. It says, and he gave them their requests, but sent leanness into their souls. And that's what the Lord did. He, the Lord gave his dude his consolation. He gave him his request, but at the same time, while he was getting all that money, the Lord sent leanness into their souls. And when you go into that word leanness, you got to go into the root word, raison, or 
or it's a uh, Rataza. Let me let me get this. I want to do it right. It's Ra Taza or Raza. Where are we at? Raza Na No, it's Raza Wa Na Raza 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 One Raza One And it means what? Leanness, scantness, wasting, leanness, wasting of disease, scantness of measure. Now, when you go to the root word, it says Raza, 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 Ah, and it means root. It says to be or become or grow lean, to make lean, to become lean, to emasicate, i.e., Make, become thin, literally or figuratively, fam famished, wax lean. And in their spirits, these dudes are, are are thin as hell. They got no character. They have no faith, no integrity. Because they're all, all their purpose in life is just the bag. That's all they talk about. That's all they can think of. That's where they draw their justification from. That's where they draw their morals from. So the Lord gave him his consolation. But he sent leanness into this snicker soul. And here it is. He's talking all this trash about men that look like him. Calling them broke. You don't even know the brother's lives. The brother's got very, very uh, high paying careers. And they're doing it on their own. Right? They're taking the risk on their own. Putting in their own time with it. They didn't get nobody to walk hand by hand by, with them. Right? But then you talk stuff about men and call them broke while you ride, riding by. It's crabs in a bucket bullshit, man. You want to be <laughs> the most well-paid nigga on the plantation. Right? Arguing about... Who master said how to uh, make the best uh, offspring? This is that nigga. All right? Let's get into some precepts, man. It's Matthew 18. And 10. It says, take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones, I say unto you. Uh, that in heaven, their angels do always behold the face of my father, which is in heaven. Right. But this dude is despising men to believe in the Lord. He even had the nerve to sit here and say, shouldn't we have these people tagged? Well, this nigga set up. This nigga is set up. Right. There's a movie called um here it is it's called American Society of of except of magical negroes right and when you watch this movie really what is about and they they sh briefly show you that in the movie these are the coons that made Esau comfortable these are the coons that Esau used to pacify uh, his hatred towards Judah. And they show you in the movie that every major so-called black figure was just somebody set up to pacify, right? And to reinforce whatever BS Esau set up. And this nigga comes off just like it. Right? But the Lord said, what? Take heed that you did not despise one of these little ones. For I say unto you, that
that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my father which is in heaven you see what brothers are doing out here is no light thing so that hatred that 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 disdain people show even in our personal relationships the lord sees all that stuff and he recompenses all that stuff it says our angels because hey the scriptures tell you you that fear the lord the angels of the Lord camp encampeth him round about. So there's angels that are always around us watching and seeing what these people do, how they think, how they treat us. And they go right back to the Lord and do some spiritual snitching. Right? This is uh, James 2. James 2 and 5, it says, Hearken, my beloved brethren, had not the Most High chosen the poor of this world, the rich in faith. You see, he said, well, I can, if you watch that video, he says, well, I can have mine on this side and, and on the next. He said, it, doesn't it always start in the natural first, then in the spiritual? No, nigga, it starts in the spiritual first. Everything you see is temporal. Here today, gone tomorrow. It started in the spirit first. But this nigga never addressed the spirit. He addressed the carnal. It says, chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith. Right? But this dude ain't got no rich, richness in faith. It says, and heirs of the kingdom, which he promised to them that love him. Right? But this dude thinks that it's all about money. It's all about what you can gain. If you haven't gained anything, the Lord ain't with you, you're off. Well, is that the case? No. Because the Lord don't deal like that. The Lord don't need money. So why in the hell does, does, it, does it take the precedent? All right, Matt, this is a Sirach 10 and... Uh, uh, I'll start at 22. It says, whether he be rich, noble, or poor, their glory is the fear of Yahweh. It is not meet to despise the poor man that had understanding, neither is it convenient to magnify a sinful man. You see? You're not supposed to despise the poor man, but you rolling around in a car saying you're broke, you're broke. Well, niggas are seeing what you like now. A lot of these celebrities, these niggas that just shot up to the top of the charts, that are getting these acclaim, got these proud ass fucking looks and shit on their face. You don't see that they they a bunch of pieces of shit, bro. They don't roll with no integrity. It's big me, little you mentality when they come around. There's no building or nothing. All right? But this dude, man, the Lord is going get you bro right the Lord is going to get you bro and when it happens it's going to be all praises honor and glory unto Yahweh Shai Hashem and it doesn't matter what the hell you believe because we know the truth Shalak Rayim Shalom